Take a breath right now. That oxygen. For thousands of years, nobody understood where it came from. People knew plants somehow fixed bad air. In 1771, Joseph Priestley showed a plant could keep a mouse alive in a sealed jar. But he couldn't explain how or why. Scientists were confused. Sometimes plants made air better. Sometimes they made it worse. What was going on? Enter Jan in Jeanhuis. Born December 8, 1730, in the Netherlands. He was a physician famous for inoculating the Austrian royal family against smallpox. But Ingenhaus was obsessed with that plant mystery. In 1779, he ran hundreds of experiments. Plants in light. Plants in darkness. Plants underwater. He discovered something nobody expected, plants need sunlight to produce oxygen. In darkness, plants actually consume oxygen just like animals. But in light, they flip. They absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. The green parts of the plant only. Sunlight is the trigger. This was photosynthesis. He'd figured it out. Before in Jeanhuis, people thought air was just. Air. One substance. He showed it was chemistry a cycle. Plants breathe in what we breathe out. We breathe in what they breathe out. Life exchanging gases. A perfect system. Today, we know photosynthesis produces about 330 billion tons of oxygen every year. Every tree, every blade of grass, every algae cell capturing sunlight, feeding the world, making the air we breathe. N. Jean Howes figured out the most important chemical reaction on Earth. Follow it on this day in science for the discoveries that keep you alive.